A typical day for me when I come in the office, uh, the first thing I do is to uh, check all the alerts that are uh, available to me and kind of triage all of them to see which ones are critical. One specific alert that draw my attention was a file that was downloaded to a machine uh, via Outlook. When the Outlook process triggered an alert, it showed me the details of a malicious document that was executed from the Outlook process. The Word document in this case executed additional scripts from it, PowerShell scripts, that reach out to a command and control server outside and grab a second stage loader to execute malicious code on the machine and take control of the machine, allowing the attacker to control the machine remotely. I was able to see the command and control traffic that was sent out. When I saw that, I was able to trigger additional queries, searches through inside IDR um, and find what specific traffic was being sent out. The command and control traffic showed me that the domain that it was connected to was a fast fluxing domain, meaning that it's changing all the time. That way the attacker was trying to hide its behavior inside the, the, the environment once it got a foothold. After that, other email alerts came to my attention and saw the same behavior, not only on one asset, but different assets. At that point, I knew I had to escalate the case and interact with the customer advisor to let the customer know that we wanted to take action on this specific alert because it was spreading rapidly and it was also a way for the attacker to compromise the company. As the alert was being triggered and we were triaging the alert with the customer advisor and the rest of the analyst team, we found out that we can create specific signatures to detect that type of behavior. Our signatures can detect when the scripts were run, but attackers change their methodologies often. So we were able to tune out more the alert and find uh, other strings that the attacker was using to uh, evade detection and from then find what other methodologies he was using and specifically find the malicious document and the processes that were run across all the machines that were being targeted by the attacker.